Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like and please subscribe down below. I appreciate all the support from everybody. And as you can tell by the title of the video and the box, we have a very special review in front of us. Swoosh on the side, Penny 2. And what we have here is a Nike Air Penny 2 with the store social status. So this is a collaboration. You have Penny 2 up top, Nike in collaboration with social status. And at the bottom, you have the social status logo featuring Little Penny. If you do not remember the commercials, then you are probably too young. This was the half cent penny commercials that they did, the Little Penny. Um, I will try to throw a photo up of where that came from. And this is kind of like what the action figure would be shown if they had the figurine in a clear kind of style box. And going down to the label, we have an Air Penny 2 SS, of course, by social status. And it is a black cobalt pulse white and men's size 13 retail is not posted on the tie but these were 200 dollars us and inside you have a little bit of divider but no paper which was kind of surprising and this pair of penny twos released on the nike sneakers app on october 19th is when i placed my order and they were 200 us social status had the original release i believe the week before i will put that date in parentheses not the day that i purchased them but the original social status uh, release date and let's get into the sneakers so real quick let me show you guys the three color extra laces you get so you have the blue which is like a powdered blue which matches the blue on the outsole you're seeing right now you have a kind of vintage cream aged looking lace and a white you can kind of see the difference in the tinge right there so three extra laces with this pair which is really nice to see i like when they include all these extra laces three is a lot i don't think i'd ever change out all three laces eventually but it's cool to have them okay and on this one you have the penny two hang this is metal so this is all metal it's actually pretty heavy this is your little hang tag thing but it's actually a sneaker it's a little metal penny which i think is really dope that they did that and the penny two you're looking at actually came in a bunch of different ways they designed this shoe back in the day when they originally released it had the swoosh right here and then they changed it to the penny logo i will a little bit later in this video pull out the pair of penny twos i still have which has a swoosh on the side from 2009 it is not the black colorway it is the blue and white but overall i really love the pennies i actually had the original penny twos back in middle school when i played basketball i was actually a shooting guard and for me it was one of the best shoes on feet at the time i like the way they look i like the way they felt i also had the penny three which had a little bit of a weird intricate design here and that was an all black pair with some blue these overall i think are worth the buy if you're into a 90s retro style basketball shoe you have a nice black nubuck style material going all the way around you have a 3m style piping you kind of see the little reflection going on right there and that 3m piping goes all the way around up into the ankle area right here your penny logo is a silver which also has kind of a reflective because you can see under the light how it's shining if i actually try to turn this light off maybe it'll show the difference so there it is with the light off so you can kind of see there it is with it back on it's it's a darker silver in person when you're staring at it but with the screen and the light you can see how it's reflecting you have that social status and nike in the blue kind of stitched in on that which is really nice a little bit of a carbon fiber shank looking piece of course it's not real carbon fiber and your outsole has a tinge of pink which is kind of interesting you can see this little pink going on down here on this tread pattern and then you have the zoom air a little bit of a shank piece there and then you have an exposed air unit in the heel underneath with the penny logo there is your airbag which actually is pink on the inner area there is a little bit of a pink plastic shank piece going all around the midsole here the midsole is all white and comes up pretty high on the lat or in the lateral side of the sneaker and flipping back to the back we have new buck all the way around you have a stitched in nike swoosh a little bit of a heel loop here which is supposed to be used to help you get the shoe on and there's your medial side same 3m style piping black new buck white midsole and going around to the toe box you have a little bit of pink on that little stripe piece right there the piping stops right before the lower eyelet for the lace loop area going up you have a rope style lace in black with clear tips and your tongue is that new buck material all the way up until you get to the logo right here which is a hard rubbery material and the penny logo underneath in pink and that blue powder blue style lining as you can see there with that dark 
kind of shiny material, blue insole, and you have your Nike social status logo underneath the heel. So overall, I think these run pretty true to size. I would stay true to size with these. Um, I don't know if they are still a good performance basketball shoe. I do not do performance reviews, but I will show real quick how these compare to the 2009 Nike swoosh release when I grab my pair. So this is the 2009 release with the penny on the back as you see this has the swoosh on the back so there is a little bit of a difference as you can see both have that kind of silver reflective where the swoosh is on that ankle area this one has the blue going around up top this is more of a nubuck this is more of a suede and you can still see the white the carbon fiber shank area and overall i think this is just a really really cool sneaker and this is kind of just to give you guys an idea of how they used to do them in 2009. I unfortunately do not have an original pair, which I believe came out in 1996. And overall, I think it's a solid buy, especially if you're a Penny Hardaway fan. Hardaway was one of those great players that just suffered an injury and he just wasn't the same, kind of like Tracy McGrady. Very unfortunate. He was actually drafted in 1993 by the Golden State Warriors, who ended up trading him to the Orlando Magic for Chris Webber because they had the first pick and they got Chris Webber. Very, very interesting trade how that went through, but a lethal, lethal duo when Penny and Shaq were together on the Magic. That could have gone to something very special, hence if we hadn't had injuries and stuff like that. But I'm going to stop rambling on about basketball and Penny Hardaway. I hope you guys like this review. Let me know what you think of these down below. Are you a Penny Hardaway fan? Do you like his shoes? Me personally, not a lot of people associated with him, but I absolutely love the foam posits. One of my favorite shoes of all time. I have a pair of foam posits in the collection with the pros and the normal foam posit, the ones. There are two different kinds if you're not familiar. One has a swoosh on the side, one does not. I have the Penny 2s like I just showed. I do need to get a couple more pairs. But other than that, let me know what you think of these down below. I'll try to answer back to everybody in the conversation, in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I hope you stick around. I have some more good stuff coming shortly. And I hope everybody has a great day. All right.